Good evening. A collision in the Bonneville area sent two people to hospital yesterday. Now, Bonneville Emergency Services responded to a three vehicle pileup at the intersection of Highway 28 and the North Shore Heights turnoff. Now, police say a westbound vehicle driven by a 59 year old man collided with a vehicle that was turning east on Highway 28. Now, a third vehicle that couldn't avoid the crash hit the wreckage. Now, the drivers of the first and third vehicles were not seriously injured. Both occupants in the second car, ages 23 and 17, were transported to hospital in Edmonton. Now, the teenage passenger was airlifted in serious condition but is now stable. There's no word yet if charges are being laid. Well, the city of Lloydminster is introducing a newer version of their photo radar technology later this month. Now, it will be deployed at key locations in the city, aiming to promote safer driving habits amongst residents. It's there to observe um, uh, intersection uh, infractions such as failing to stop at stop signs. The new technology is an upgrade to the photo enforcement program that has been in place since 2009. The idea behind an automated traffic enforcement program is, is to augment the RCMP's traffic uh, enforcement abilities. It's a safety and injury reduction, so to reduce motor vehicle collisions. Now, last year, photo enforcement tickets brought in roughly $1.75 million in revenue to the city. I think our stated goal with the program is, is we hope that we don't have to have the program. In the long run, it's our hope that drivers change their behaviors, stop at stop signs, and then we don't need this program. Now, the standard fine in Lloydminster for a stop sign infraction is $287. Well, with temperatures on the rise, it's time to switch out your winter tires for summer ones. Now, the failure to do so could lead to, could lead to damage both to your tires and to your vehicle. Winter ones don't last as well in the, uh, in the warm temperatures, so if you don't have a couple extra thousand dollars laying around to just buy new tires every year, yeah, it's a good idea to get them off. Now, a common misconception amongst drivers is that the use of all season tires, they could do both in summer and in winter. Going from into spring now in the summer, it's not as dangerous. It's just that they wear out quicker, but the traction you'll get on a winter tire is, is good. So in the summertime, it would, it would still give you good traction. It's just that they wear out so quick. Now, while changing tires, it's also a good time to inspect them for any wear and tear. Every tire has a, it's called a wear bar. In the, it's, where, it's at 430 seconds of usable tread, so when the tire wears down to those wear bars, that's generally time to, uh, to get them off the vehicle and replace them. Oh yeah, it's when the average temperature is about 5 degrees, that's a good time to change to summer tires. There's plenty of happy faces around the region today with temperatures finally reaching well above the double digit mark. And of course, many thoughts turn to activities outside. Now, it may be a bit soon to start planting the gardens, but as Annika Notvate reports, a local greenhouse is gearing up for the season. Springtime, yeah, it's very busy in planning and trying to get our seeds started and uh, just waiting for the ground to warm up. Flipping those seeds into the ground isn't something staff are doing quite yet at Lower Shannon Farms, but John Acton says they're getting everything in order for the warm weather. They have plants indoors all year round and says the local green thumbs can start their plants indoors too. You can basically start any plant indoors, so long as you can keep that overnight temperature well above freezing. And garlic going in. Said the cabbage and the uh, celery. Now later in the season when the plants and vegetables are up and growing, everyone deals with those pesky bugs attacking them. And John says here at the greenhouse they use natural remedies that are homemade and you can use them for your gardens at home as well. You can use uh, distilled alcohol mixed with neem oil, uh, mixed with uh, ivory soap. Uh, you combine that mix and it'll act, it won't completely solve your problem, but it'll certainly control it. He says most people use May long weekend as a reference point to begin planting outdoors, but you can get away with putting a few root vegetables into the ground right now. Typically your, your uh, potatoes, you can get them in quite safely uh, by the long weekend. So long as your plants are not going to emerge too much before the end of May, you should be pretty safe. Anna Cannot date, New Cap News.